So other things that we have to clarify about individual use is uh, the contact ratio. And as I said a while ago, ideally it should be greater than or equal to 1. But 1.6 is uh, already, uh, for operation, an advisable contact ratio. Now, uh, if we have these two gears in contact, and we have a certain distance D, and we have a certain pressure angle, we have now sh shown here the uh, uh, line of action. Now, uh, the two gears can be separated, can be moved away from each other. And what happens is that uh, the line of action will be different, and the pressure angle is increased. So in the same way, in the opposite direction, we can move them closer. So from here, we can move them closer, and the pressure angle will be uh, smaller. So uh, we can simply do that ideally, but uh, in terms of reality, there are limits by which we can separate them, or we can move them closer. How, uh, what, uh, in what way do we uh, have uh, to find that limit? For example, if we have to move them away from each other, the contract ratio, the contact ratio will definitely be smaller. So let us look at it this way. If we have here a certain addendum and another addendum here, the uh, line of contact is this. Addendum passing through the line of action, addendum passing through the line of action here. Uh, by the way, the uh, limit of the addendum is here and the limit of the addendum is here. It is uh, the addendum. Uh, the addendum here is uh, not uh, going through that point of interference and also that point of interference. So that is the limit of our addendum and it is the length of the part of contact. Now if we have to move them away from each other, what happens is that, uh, that for the same kind of addendum, uh, addendum now is here, for this one, and then for this other gear, it will have to be here. So. We will see, we will notice that the length of the path of contact is much smaller than the original position. Though it's bigger here, it is very small here. And when we, comp we con uh, compute for the contact ratio, if it is less than one, then we are not satisfying the fundamental of the and it is not uh, a very good idea to move them close, uh, away from each other at such a distance. So we have to have a limit, and that limit is the contact ratio must be equal to or greater than one. Now if we have to uh, move them closer, there is also a limit. And uh, that limit is the point of point of interference. As I said a while ago, the addendum is here. And uh, it, it, it did not uh, pass through that uh, limit of addendum or that point of interference. If the addendum is here, then we cannot move them any, any closer. If the addendum is here also, we cannot move them any closer because there will be interference. So uh, for involute gears, we can move them closer, <coughs> but there should be no interference. We can move them away from each other, but the contact ratio must be greater than or equal to one. 